It seems like every week there's some more news when it comes to octopus energy at the moment, and this week is no different. A couple of days ago they announced that they were releasing their own heat pump. In this video I'll discuss what we know so far, how much it will cost, when it will be available, and how in some cases you might even get one for free. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Dan EV Solar and on this channel you can follow my journey for all things EVs, renewables, solar panels, energy tariffs and money saving. If you like this video and find it useful, please hit the like button and also it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel for more similar content. I've heard a few people mention that EVs are a gateway drug to solar panels and heat pumps. For me it was slightly different in that my solar panels and home battery were the gateway drug to my EV. I've also wanted a heat pump for quite a while and I think it would be amazing to power it somewhat from the solar panels as well as providing a backup when the sun isn't shining via my Give Energy home battery. I also like the thought of being able to get rid of the gas from the house, running everything off electric and having a much greener setup overall. But so far I just haven't been able to justify the costs of a heat pump. Even if we say if we purchased one with the intention that it would never ever pay back, like we would with a new boiler I guess, it just seems such a waste to rip out a four year old boiler in my house that's working absolutely fine. From a pretty heat efficient house just to say we're doing our bit for the planet. And while I do genuinely want to make a difference, it's certainly not at any cost. I simply can't afford to do that. Octopus have stated for a while now that it's their mission to accelerate the installation of heat pumps by both installing and making them more affordable. So will their new heat pump achieve that and make it available to the masses? I did inquire back in March about Octopus potentially installing one of their heat pump offerings that they started installing around about a year ago. More out of curiosity on price and whether my 10mm microbore pipe would be suitable for a heat pump as much as anything else. I believe that before they develop their own heat pump design they are currently installing Dakin branded heat pumps and they wanted 11,500 for the complete install in my 5 bedroom house. With the £5,000 installation bus grant that the government are offering that brought it in a total of 6500 and although again I was tempted since installing my solar panels and home battery, I just couldn't justify the cost, especially since our gas usage is relatively low anyway. It also seemed that the units were quite generically sized based on the size of the home or the number of bedrooms it had, rather than being based on actual room dimensions and heat loss from the house. Although they did want to arrange an inspection after that, so I assume this is when they get to the finer details and make sure that everything's checked and sized correctly. Now though, Octopus have taken this scheme one step further and they've developed their own heat pump, warmly called Cozy 6. Octopus have invested 10 million in the research and development of this heat pump and the CEO of Octopus Energy, Greg Jackson, also a North East lad, stated that the heat pump is magic, it's just got a couple of issues. They're very expensive to build and very expensive to install and traditionally there's a view that they may not generate enough heat for a typical home without some fairly significant upgrades to insulation and radiators. I've heard this viewpoint a few times and it seems like recently heat pumps have had as much misinformation printed about them as EVs in the press. From what I understand and I'm definitely not an expert but when it comes to heat pumps there needs to be a few factors in place. Number one is that the heat pump unit needs to be sized correctly to provide enough heat for the property depending on the installed insulation and room sizes but also not oversized. Number two, any small radiators need to be upgraded to ensure all rooms are heated adequately. And number three, all piping needs to be of a certain size to enable enough flow through the system to work at low temperatures. Generally, if these three factors are met and you have a good installer that sizes everything correctly, then the heat pumps can run at the low required temperatures and can be up to three to 400% efficient. More so in newer modern properties, but also in older houses as well. To compare that to a standard boiler, which runs at around about 90% efficiency, it's a massive difference. So what is Cozy 6? According to Octopus, the Cozy 6 integrates what it calls the Cozy Hub and room temperature sensors called Cozy Pods with their tariff and five star service. They will start by offering a six kilowatt heat pump, hence the Cozy 6 name, which they say will suffice for a typical three bedroom house and larger models will follow over the next six months. The system has a bit of a different design to a traditional heat pump and it's built and developed in Britain. Let me know in the comments what you think of the design. I think it's certainly different and it's good to see an alternative to the traditional rectangle box you normally get, although I wouldn't say it was attractive still really, but neither are most boilers to be fair. 
It does seem to be a bit more compact than the normal heat pumps currently on the market as well though. So what about price? Octopus state that the Cozy 6 is potentially free, yes free, for those homes where not much work is required to install them. And that's after the £5,000 bus grant. Any homes that do need adjustments, such as new radiators installing, piping upgrading or a hot water tank installing, we'll be looking at around about £3,000. After the grant, so still much more reasonable than the £6,500 that I was quoted for the Dakin heat pump. Although I do wonder if Octopus would recommend a higher rated heat pump for my house. And there doesn't appear to be any indication yet as to what those high rated units will cost. Although for how well my house is actually insulated, I do wonder if a 6 kilowatt unit might suffice anyway. I guess the ultimate question here is how many people will actually get this free? I guess time will tell. One thing I do wonder with this heat pump is where Octopus talk about needing extra heat in the homes. Obviously the more heat that a heat pump produces, the less efficient they become. So I'll be keen to know more about this when Octopus release more details in future. The COP or coefficient of performance is key with heat pumps. This is a measure of energy that goes into a heat pump to run it versus the energy that is produced coming out of it into the home. And this can be as high as three or four if installed correctly, which means for every one kilowatt of energy that's used to power the heat pump, three to four kilowatts of heat energy for the house is produced. I did briefly wonder if it was in Octopus's interest for their customers to use more energy and therefore they benefit further. But I'm sure with a lot of the bad press around for heat pumps at the moment, they wouldn't want to add to this by making an inefficient heat pump that nobody wants. I also genuinely believe Greg Jackson when he says that he wants to wean the world off fossil fuels such as gas for the good of the planet. Customers of the heat pumps will also be able to utilize some of Octopus's smart tariffs and that'll mean that they can power the heat pump at lower rates overnight when electricity is more abundant and much cheaper and the grid demand much lower. Octopus currently have a wide range of tariffs, but I suspect the most suitable one here will be their Octopus Cozy tariff that they already have available for heat pump owners. This has two off-peak periods which can be used to heat your home throughout the day, where they offer cheaper electricity. If you want to know more about some of Octopus's innovative tariffs, please check out my other videos. And if you would like to join Octopus for their great customer service and innovative tariffs, there's a link on screen at the moment and in the description. It would be great if you could use this as this is my referral code. If you join Octopus Energy using this, you get £50 when you sign up and I also get £50 as well. Thanks to everyone that's used this so far. So when can I get one? Octopus reckon that this will be available around about December 2023, so not too far away. And if you need a guinea pig to test this, Octopus and Greg, I'd be more than happy to try it out for you. Shy bands get nothing right. In all seriousness, this is another great move from Octopus though. And it's great to see them branching out into other revenue streams that will both help the business grow and also benefit the planet as well. Let me know in the comments what you think of this latest Octopus development. It's great to see them pushing the boundaries with renewable technology and lowering the price at the same time. Great work yet again, Octopus. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.